Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. This is a very sad news. It's really heartbreaking to hear this today. Nigerians woke up to this sad passing away of a veteran singer, Sound Sultan, who had been rumored to be suffering from throat cancer months earlier. For, however, if we can recall that a few weeks back, it was announced that Sound Sultan was going through cancer, and that was cancer of the throat which it was difficult for people to believe because he didn't look safe for the few times he's appeared. He looked very healthy and strong. And it's so painful that he has passed away. And the death was announced by his own family to their official post. And that's the post you can actually see there. It's so painful that he has passed away. And South Sota remains one of the most strongest singer in history. Of the Nigerian music industry. He had several hit songs, notably being his breakout song. A lot of songs he has released in the early 20s. He would later go on to record his hit songs with Whiskey and M.I. And he also did some performance on AY Live show and even when the celebrated Two-Face as a legend. He also participated in the comedy that he played with M.I. on stage, which was very funny and interesting. If you had watched that, that was in 2019. It was very interesting. A lot of people enjoyed it and they mocked each other while on stage. He was confirmed dead after a battle with throat cancer. It's so painful that... He has passed away like this. Losing a legend, a veteran, a strong actor at a very young age. He was only 44 years old. May the soul of San Sultan rest in perfect peace with the Lord. And may Almighty God console his entire family, friends, well wishers and every other person that actually knew him. Saying that San Sultan has passed away like this, it's so heartbreaking. A lot of people did not expect that San Sultan would leave so early because the news of his cancer just came up a few weeks ago. I know most times people with cancer, if they see that it has gotten to stage 4, the doctors will always tell them the number of time they have to leave. But in the case of San Sultan, they never released that information, although it's not an information that should be released publicly. But the information also came as a shock that he had throat cancer. And today, information releasing that he is dead. I know he's known as San Sultan. That's his stage name, his industry name. But his real name is Olare Waju Fasasi. He survived by his wife and three children. He will be greatly missed by a lot of people, not just in the industry, but in the nation at large. He was a funny guy and he had very lovely music and he collaborated with some of the big known artists in the industry as well. May God console his family, knowing that this guy, a very young man, has just passed away like that. And there was some information he also released. Um, shortly before he passed away and he had to release that because you know most times people would always say celebrate me when I am alive and not when I am dead those are statements that has been coming up off and on when people pass away you would and some of them their friends would come online and now make this statement like when their friend was alive, you never celebrated them. And now that they are dead, 
you are celebrating them those are statements that have been coming up and this was the post that sound sultan had posted before he passed away he posted this on instagram page he said celebrate me now when i day alive appreciate me now when i day alive no be say when i leave this life you go they fake him for my back okay that is what he had said that people should celebrate him when he is still alive and not when he is dead they will now start celebrating him that was his last post on his instagram page before his sad death came up and this has stirred a lot the announcement of his death is coming a week after his post on instagram and this stirred reactions from nigerians on social media who accused those celebrating his music and making comments about him after death of being hypocritical his previous posts before his last post had just 47 comments on his instagram page but his last post after his death is flooded with 4,000 and counting comments mourning him. And a few of the comments that were gathered on daily posts, one of it is being checking Sound Sultan posts on encouraging engagement till he died today. And his last post was celebrate me while I'm still alive, not when I'm gone. Nigerian showing sympathy after things gone wrong. There are a lot of people that had gone to write a lot on Twitter. Some people are saying, I wish we celebrated our legends more when they were alive. Rest in peace, Sultan. Another said, Sound Sultan bowed out with his message. Let's celebrate our people while they are still alive. Rest in peace, Sound Sultan. You would forever be celebrated. Another person wrote this. So do people truly know when they are about to die for real? Sound Sultan's last post on Instagram. Rest in peace. Rest in the Lord, champ. Another person wrote this. Sound Sultan last post in IG speaks volume about life. So a lot of people had so many things to pen down on Twitter regarding the last post that Sound Sultan had posted. And someone even said, does it mean that people know when they will die? For his case, like I said earlier, that in some cases of cancer, when it has reached a stage, most times either stage 4 or stage 3, and the doctor has seen that that cancer is spreading and it can't be contained anymore, then the doctors will tell you either you have like 3 weeks, two months to leave so at that time the patients already know and prepare their minds that they are passing away so in his case that could have been a possibility that his doctors might have told him that he wouldn't stay a particular longer period of time or they may give him a period that they know that that is when he is going to leave with that he might have had that at the back of his mind and decided that he would pen this down on his Instagram knowing that he is leaving. Also, we know that few days ago, that Obama BMW, that's the aid of Davido, passed away. And when he passed away, some of his friends went on Instagram, went online to say this, that stop celebrating people when they are dead, celebrate them when they are still alive and it's not a bad thing to say you know most times some people would not say anything about someone even if they know you if they know you're nice you're you're a loving person they would never even tell you to your face so i would never want to say it i don't feel or when i tell him or when i tell her she'll be feeling on top of herself or he'll be feeling on top of himself let me just keep it to myself i know this person is good let it just be but all of this is now trying to teach everybody a lot of people are guilty of this so nobody is 
out of this i think it's a general thing for everybody to also have it on mind celebrate people the person shouldn't be a legend it could also be your family member probably that person is nice and has been doing a lot of things celebrate that person let that person know that he is loved or she is loved or he is cherished and they appreciate or they know what the person is doing or you see the person is doing a particular hand work that is very good you encourage the person celebrate the person you may even go online to say oh this person is good at this you could support the person there are different ways of celebrating people you could hide the good sides you could tell people about someone that you know that it's a loving person is a caring person these are different ways like i said the person doesn't have to be a celebrity it could be just your friend whom you see as a simple friend but that person has great things inside of him or her or that person has done a lot of things that need to be celebrated you could celebrate that person i could see that some friends even go online to give a shout out to some of their friends some on radio stations you see they give shout outs to their parents to family members to people that they know that have done a lot and those people are still alive so when they hear all those things they're happy you know this is another way of making people do good more or encouraging people either a handwork they are doing you encourage them they be better in it you encourage people that are stretched arms to help people that are loving once you do that the person in question it becomes very happy i would want to even do more that is how life is this doesn't go to specific people i think it goes to every one of us we all learn every day i think this is something that we, we should also learn from celebrate people in their life your parents parents have done a lot to our lives our parents have trained us they have ensured that we go up to be better people in life they have seen us through some parents had to quit jobs to take care of us maybe at some point you were sick when you were little and they had to stay back home and they lost their jobs in the course of trying to take care of a lot of parents have gone through a lot they've done a lot of things that need to be recognized you don't have to recognize them maybe worldwide you could celebrate them even one on one within the family a lot of things some of you is your siblings some siblings dropped out of school to help their other sibling so that they can go to school some had to do manual jobs to help themselves so many ways to celebrate people while they are alive and i think there's a true statement that sound sultan had posted and some other people had posted that too celebrate people while they are still alive it gives them joy it gives them courage it gives them hope it gives them strength to do more and to be better people it's so painful that he passed away at a very young age this thing cancer some people have been able to beat cancer it only takes the grace of god for you to beat cancer and it gets to a stage where you can't even beat it when it gets to that critical stage four stage three most times the doctors will just let the person know that this has spread and the person may not survive it i use this medium to also pray for other people that are suffering this cancer either one illness or the other that God should stretch out his hands and heal them all. It's so painful for family to lose their loved ones. It's really painful. Once again, may the soul of sound Sultan rest in perfect peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console his friends, family members, well wishers, the industry as a whole too, and every other person that knew him. May God console them all. It's a pity that he has gone. And I hope that we all learn this lesson. Let's celebrate people, family, friends, family members, parents, siblings, even your own children. You could celebrate them. There's no one that don't deserve to be celebrated one way or the other. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.